Listen up, people. We got us a real live, bona fide cad offender in my territory. Your patch. What do you think about that? We're gonna catch this guy. We know he's in this neighborhood. But I have the power of my mind working, and I know the best place for us to hide out and wait him out, right there, right there. He will never expect the cops to be waiting for him in the donut shop. Am I right? Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. All right, so let's be careful. Let's get out there. Let's find this guy, and I want a pink one with sprinkles on top. You hear me? <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We just 712. We have all the exits covered. I think we're good. Ooh, watch and learn, Ricky. Watch and learn. We've got the line of service packs if you're interested. You, stop, stop. Don't move. Don't move. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Just don't taste me, bro. Taste me. Get out of here. There's nothing to see here. There's nothing to see here. Whoa. see here. He's got to go with us. Sorry. He's bad design. I got a big one with sprinkles for the chief. All right, we talked to your co-workers and they reported that you've been working on this medical couch design for weeks. All they ever see you do is change dimensions and rerun motion simulations. Why are you wasting your time with this manual iteration process? Don't you think there isn't anyone out there competing for your company's business? Time is money! Hey, I'm trying to find the best design that works with the actuators we have in stock. It's the only way I know how to do that. You gotta come up with a better excuse than that, Rosinski. Look, we also found you in possession of a SolarWorks World What's 2012 What's New Guy. Hey, I've never seen that before. I don't, I don't know how it got here. Yeah, likely story. Look, you should have known that SolarWorks now supports motion sensors that des and design studies support motion simulations as well. It's easy to incorporate machine information such as actuator forces, bearing loads, part travel, and use those to find the best design for your job. That's right, Hatch. Let the computer do the work for you. Optimization can want to run through a wide variety of design variations to meet those requirements automatically. So when you need to keep actuator loads below a certain value or limit the range of travel, this tool is a huge time saver. <laughs> and not only that, but it allows you to view any of those iterations and review the animations as well. Now how long would that take you to do by hand, I ask you? And it even highlights iterations that don't meet your requirements in red. Isn't that great? Look at this, Sparky. You can even drag an input slider immediately to see the required actuator stroke and forces. It can't get any even any easier. So you're gonna stick to your story that you've never seen any of this before? You ain't got nothing on me, Copper. You're also being held up on the suspicion of spending too much time preparing for design reviews. Care to explain yourself? Hey, my assembly is humongous. There are tens of thousands of parts, and it brings my laptop to a crawl. So I'm making a bunch of screenshots to show to the customer. So why are you using the new large design review mode in SolidWorks 2012? You can open massive assemblies in just seconds, even on your chintzy little laptop. Oh. It's, it's like quick view on steroids. View manipulation is lightning fast. Look at that. This monster spins like a 10-part assembly. Zooming and panning is just as smooth, so you can quickly get where you need to go. Never before has it been this easy to work with large assemblies. Hey, what you're showing looks pretty good, but sometimes I need to get inside of my assembly for a look around. Well, if that's what you need, you can create or reuse existing walkthroughs. There's no better way than a walkthrough to immerse yourself in a massive assembly like this one. But it doesn't stop there. You even have full interactivity with the feature tree. Selecting an item in the graphics window highlights it and scrolls it into view, and vice versa. Items can also be acted upon for operations, such as height and show. You can even control visibility from the graphics area. This allows you to really dig down and interrogate your design. Let's take a look at this gate valve, for example. Mm, looks like a bit of a tight fit there. But using the section view, we can dig down even deeper to see if there's any possible problems. The measure tool is available to interrogate our model for clearances. And you can see that there's no way someone's going to be able to access this fault, so it looks like it's in time for a design change. But this isn't just a viewer. Components or sub-assemblies can be directly opened with full editing chain capabilities. Let's modify the offset of the mounting plate to address that tight clearance problem. It looks like that should do the trick. 
Now, all we have to do is save the assembly, and when we switch back to the larger assembly, the main model is updated. Launch design review is all about fast. Fast opening, fast viewing, exploring, and changing. So you still got to stick to this story that you've never seen any of this before. All right, all right, I admit it. I knew about it, but I needed the overtime. <laughs> I could have milked this project for another week if it wasn't for you and those two, and those damn big goods. It's back to the drawing board for you. No, not the drawing board. Anything with that, anything with that. Check out Salaryworks 2012 later this fall. We're watching you. 